Hello, everyone. Thank you again for being here today. So today we're going to demonstrate a few new features, uh, some improvements, and also some new extension for our last release of software uh, Dawn demo that's available for the last update. I'm going to also share with you guys some videos now and also discuss about these new uh, functionalities. So basically have a few new uh, features to start discuss about. One of these new features uh, is the teaching function. So we know how complicated it was before to be totally dependent on the teach pen and to create some new program, like to define some new position, save this position, and also to move the robot. Even when you use the robot in some factory environment, when it's really difficult to handle the teach pen and also the robot. So this new functionality brings you the possibility to use the button at the flange of the robot to save uh, the position and also create some new movements. So in this example here, uh, we have a simple application on how to uh, use this new functionality where you with simple uh, double clicking, you will save this position and also duplicate the movement. So basically, you just need to create the first movement, and after double clicking, you just duplicate the same configuration of this movement. And this functionality is also compatible with uh, arrays. So if you create some array with some position, you can also double click in and save many positions inside of your array, uh, just moving the robot and double clicking. It. Another new feature available is the arc move that resolves the necessity to uh, perform some circular movements in constant speed. And that was not possible before, use just a linear movement with the via option with some blends of distance. So now we ensure that the robot is passed through this target uh, pose in your circular movements. And we also have a, few, uh, a video example here to demonstrate this application. In this simple program here, we basically create some uh, curvature around the corner of this table with this circular object. You just perform some linear movement to the corner of the table. And to perform the arc movement, you just need to uh, define two positions where you're going to pass through your arc and your end position. And now using this new functionality is also possible to define uh, your trajectory during the movement. So you can also define fix it or adapted attention during the movement that you can easily adapt the trajectory during the whole uh, trajectory of this uh, movement. So basically here, you have the same option inside of your move command. And here you have the option to select fix it or adapt the tangent around X or Z X. In this example, I'm following the tangent on Z. So the robot performed the adapted movement of the SSP around the object. So it can be useful for, for example, routing application or dispense application. Uh, the spline move is the same idea of the arc move that provides some motion and constant speed. The difference here, you can also select some and define some uh, 
curvature reference to your trajectory, so you can also perform some constant speed, but also adapt to the trajectory of the robot during the whole trajectory for different uh, levels of surface, for example. We're also going to show you some example use the set file in you know, another video. Uh, another uh, new feature that's available is the dynamic TCP offset. So with this new feature, uh, it's also possible to update in real time the your reference. So it means you can include some trigonometric equations, for example, some small range of distance and adapt the reference of the robot or also the reference of the ERTCP. So during the some trajectory, you can also adapt the position of the robot. In this example here, I'm just selecting a, a some small thread. So just to include this variation in my program routine. I basically have just two points uh, that move in linear movement, but I also adapting the my orientation during the trajectory with a scene uh, wave, and that caused this variation in my reference. Using the C button, I can change for the word frame or my piece my TCP just to define my reference. And this example here, you can see the variation of this offset. And I just set in this variable into my new reference. So basically in X, I move uh, straight from one point to the other one, but just with this variation in Y, X. We also have some improvements since our last release. One of these uh, improvements, it's the runtime variables navigation. So it turns the debugging process easily. You can also uh, access uh, in a fast way, your variables check if your program is working well, and it filter all just the variable you're using during your program. And you can easily, uh, looking into your list and check the value of your variable and also uh, during the, the runtime, uh, check if the value is proper defined. And you can easily access this, uh, this values from the bottom bar. There is also possibility to filter this variable to select which variable wants to show in this button bar. So in this example here, I'm running the program and you can easily switch between these variables. And in real, real time, you can check these values. Another improvement is related to the robot initialization that comes to avoid that annoying situation when you have some kind of collision against an object or some surface, for example, and get stuck the robot and it's not possible to initialize a robot. And sometimes you need to release manually the robot or for example, the object. So this new uh, improvement comes to uh, solve this problem. In this example, I have like simple setup prepared here where the robot is uh, squeezing the table and generate some high torque against joint two, for example, but it could happen with any kind of joint. When you try the normal process to initialize the robot, it shows you the message that some of the joints are locked, as you can check over here. So it showed me the message that joint two is locked, but uh, the other joints initialize normally. So you are also allowed to move the robot to use the, the button. And just when you release the button from the uh, stuck position, just press continue, and then you can initialize the rope normally. Another improvement is related to the collision. So the collision handling comes to uh, avoid that uh, annoying situation when you have some kind of collision and uh, result in some emergency stop, and you activate the brakes of the rope. With this improvement, it's also part of the hardware and software. You need to keep uh, update the software for the last release and also update the firmware. Okay. 
you have a bit more control of the robot in case of some collision. In this example, after a collision, you can easily just avoid the error and also press the button and move the robot for some different position. We also have some new uh, extensions available since our last release. One of these uh, extensions is the stop resume. That now it's possible to include some period of time in this extension. That before, when you are working, uh, running the, your program in some high speed, it generates some uh, extra torque and cause some emergency stop. Now it's also possible to include this period of time to get smoothly this transition. So now you can also stop the robot or accelerate it back and create some uh, smooth transition uh, in this process. I can also demonstrate in the tablet later. Automatically dialog dismissal. Uh, this is possible now to dismiss automatically the pop-up. When you're using some uh, dialog, it shows you some pop-up. You can interact with the user, but before, uh, it was obligated to uh, waiting for the, uh, the integration, like the interaction with your user. You need to dismiss or click in some button. Now you can easily associate with some variable, for example, some inputs or output, or any kind of variable chains, and you can just dismiss automatically this pop up. In this example, as you can see, we are associating this input with our dialog. And all the time when you have this change in our variable, it's closed automatically the dialog. So when it's off, when it's in low level, you close the dialog. When it's high level, you just initialize again the loop and show you the dialog. Uh, the step five in Sibon, it's a, uh, has been available since a while, but we are constantly working some improvements for this feature that is really useful who works with CAD files and then you can save your object or trajectory in a CBAN uh, to use the step file CBAN. And then you can easily uh, use to follow some specific trajectory or and also adapt to uh, the orientation during the movement. In this example here, just show you how to create this trajectory. Just follow some rules where you need to include some uh, initial reference and also uh, end position using these circles at the beginning and three circles at the end. You can also create a second line just to define your plane in your drawing to use as reference. Just need to install the step file CBAN, upload your drawing. And into your program, you can easily uh, combine this step file with the spline move to perform a best, uh, to have the best uh, performing during your trajectory. In this example, we are just following the same drawing we showed you before. It can be really useful for dispensing application or some welding application, for example. Uh, another extension is the ROS. The ROS was also available since a while. Now we have this new update, the ROS2. These modules integrate the ROS infrastructure, infrastructure and also provide several different tools uh, that commonly is used in this community uh, around those frameworks. Uh, we also have a video here, demonstrate an example uh how to use this uh new extension you can download all these files in our own uh, our liber uh, online library
And this example here, it's showing how to use a external device, for example, a joystick to control the robot. Now I will also share the, the screen of the tablet to demonstrate to you some applications. <laughs> so basically here, uh, just to demonstrate a few uh, options that I showed you in the video before, we have now the option and stop and resume where I have some new improvements. When you click in this uh, option, you also have the option to include some time. The maximum is five seconds and also for resume. So you can easily now create some uh, gap of time to decelerate or accelerate the robot back when you are working some high speed uh, program and then you avoid the situation when you cause some emission stop. I also show you the dialog options now. You can see here this missile signal. You can easily associate with some variable, for example, some input or output or any kind of variable you are reading this chance. And then you can dismiss automatically this pop-up. And the last one, the option to double-clicking and create the move or you can just like uh, create a new variable. So when you move the robot and you have a double clicking, you just save a new position for this variable. And for example, if it defines some different configuration for this movement, for example, like a linear or also an arc, when I create the other movements, it replicates the previous configuration. And the last one is the arc where you have now the option to create this art movement where you just need to drag and drop your variable when you are passing through in your end position into your arc where you require two variables. So basically, these are our deal features, extension, and also some improvements for Castle Robots. And thank you everyone. Have a nice day and bye.